It is a cold and chilly spring day in the small village of Franito Manforte in the region of Campania. The rains have stopped and the town is busy being about its business, including daily mass inside this church in the town square. Like churches everywhere, it has many statues of saints. But one of them is so important to the townspeople that they built a separate altar to celebrate San Nicola, Saint Nicholas. San Nicola is one of Italy's most revered saints, celebrated at Christmas time everywhere else in Italy. But here in Franito, it is a year long event. In fact, every year the townspeople choose a family to hold a vigil over this ancient portrait of San Nicola said to have miraculous powers. This year, it's the Molinara family, and day and night for an entire year, their home is open to anyone who wishes to come and pray. Townspeople donate fresh flowers and candles and money to help the family live. The pieces of jewelry you see surrounding the painting were left over many years in gratitude for answered prayers to San Nicola. Molinara tells me that he sleeps on the couch during the night in case somebody needs to come in and pray. His front door is never locked and his home is always open. A quarter mile away, about 10 minutes drive from the Molinaras, is the home of Assunta Borelli, who along with her husband cared for the San Nicola painting last year. They even painted a picture of the saint on the wall of the pizza oven her husband built so that they could feed those who came to pray. Today we celebrate Asunta's skills as a cook as we make pizza after pizza, helped by her good friend and great cook, Anna Lombardi. See the traditional white scarves they're wearing? They have the initials SN embroidered on them. Just one more way for the townspeople to celebrate their famous saint, not just at Christmas, but all year long. Today we are going to be making homemade pizza and no one better to show us how to do it than Assunta and Anna. So, cominciamo con la pasta. Sì. Okay. Okay, so. Allora io verso l'acqua. All right, so we're putting in some warm water in this bowl is yeast, lievito, see? And it looks like this. They're using cake yeast. This is cake yeast. At home, we would be using dried yeast. And the water is warm, but it's not too hot. E si mette un po' più. Si, 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 va bene. Okay. Si cresce di più. Si, she says if you add more yeast, then, of course, the pasta, the dough for the pizza is going to rise even better. All right, now we have the water. And in this Lievito. bowl, see, in this bowl is something called, or what I used to know as the crescia or something, that, the growth. This is like a sourdough, a starter, that's going to help give extra strength to the pizza itself. So this you make ahead of time, the crescia. And now we add the addition of the warm water and the additional yeast. And once you have this in this trough, which is known as a medea here in uh, Italy, then you have to work this whole business with your hands. And uh, Assunta is going to start that process, and we may need a little bit more water as we go. Un po' più. Okay. Like making pasta, the secret to this is all in the hands. You just know when it is exactly right. See, ancora. Un po' più. What we want to achieve here is a nice a ball of dough that isn't sticking to our hands. And she's mixing that with her fists, which is the way they do it, instead of with the palm of your hand, the way a lot of us do it at home. Ancora. See? E per quanti anni tu hai fatto questa pasta? Per quanti anni? Sì. È una decina. Una decina. Un po' più? Sì, poco poco. Sì, sì, poco poco. Pasta. 
And if you err on the side of putting too much liquid in, you can always add a little bit more flour. She says we need a little bit more water. Qua? Basta. <laughs> See? Now this is a real workout for your back. Si gira ogni tanto. Si, 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 si. Io penso che basta acqua. Si, si, si. All right, I'm, I told her I think there's enough water there. All right, by now, she's been kneading this at least five minutes, and as I'm watching her do that, it's very mesmerizing to watch her use the fist. She's using her fist. It's almost, to me, it sounds like a horse galloping along the way, the way I'm, I'm, I'm watching her just getting that dough so that it's absolutely smooth. Okay, now she sprinkles a little bit of flour over the top because that dough is ready to rise. And you notice she makes a cross across the center of the dough, wishing it good luck. Three times. Tre volte. Tre volte. Tre volte. Across, across the, the top. Okay. Now, coperto si, con usciugamano. Si. si. And now we cover that. E quanto tempo ci vuole? Eh, un'oretta e più. Uh, sì, sì. So an hour or more. Okay, so that's, that's going to rise. And, of course, earlier in the day, Assunta got up very early and made one that's already risen. So here it is. E pronta? Sì. sì. sì e sì, pronta? Sì, sì. sì. Allora, it's nice and soft, and we're ready to make pizza. Vediamo. Sì? Now she's going to take that out, and I should tell you that while we're going to be working with this dough, the dough that's rising, a piece of that is going to be saved and put in the refrigerator, and that becomes the cresciuta for the next time you make pizza dough. So you always have a starter with which to work. Okay, here we go. Sì. Questi sono i panini. Sì. Sì. Le di San Nicola. Di San Nicola. Sì, sì, sì. Va bene. Un po' più. Sì. Sì. Questa pasta... Questa facciamo le, per la pizza con pomodoro. Sì, con pomodoro. Ok, she's going to make a, a pizza with tomatoes, but you see this dough is useful for other things besides pizza. You can make these little rolls that they're making for San Nicola. Allora. Ok. Now, after these rolls are formed, then Asunta uses a stamp and puts the letters SN on top of each panino. This is to signify San Nicola. Okay. Pew. Tutta, tutta. Allora. Sì. Here we have, to, we have to get this oven really up to speed. And when the ashes, when you see ashes, then you, 
scoop the ashes out because then the oven is ready and it's going to be about 600 degrees when you cook, uh, when you bake the bread rather. So this, once we put all of the, uh, the branches in, which Asunta has gone to get, and this has burnt down to ashes, they will be scooped out. The ashes will be scooped out. The oven floor will be ready and we will put the pizza in uh, to cook. And then it, that isn't going to take very long at all. Oh, I like that sound. Okay. We've burned everything down to ash. And now the ash has to be cleaned out of the oven. This oven has to be at least 390 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be about 200 degrees, give or take, give or take uh, 200 uh, degrees centigrade. So at least 400 degrees. Sometimes these ovens have to be as hot as 600 degrees, depending on what you are baking. So all that ash comes out before we can put the pizza in. Okay, Asunta has got the oven cleaned completely of ash. That floor has to be perfect. Anna is placing the risen dough on the peel. And now we can make a variety of pizzas. Uh, cominciare con, uh, ok, the pomodori. Questi sono pomodori con un po' di basilico. Sì, si, basilico. Un po' basi di formaggio. A little cheese, basil. E un poco di origano. And a little bit of oregano. Olio. And e olive oil. oil. And olive oil. And that's just spread mm -hmm. on the, uh, on the dough. And you see the dough isn't too thick. Facciamola così. Okay, and now that's ready to go in the oven. So stand back, and with a jerk, it goes right onto the oven floor in the back. Okay. We're going to make about four or five different types of pizza. These are all local versions of pizza that you find throughout Italy. You get a little hole, you just patch. Si, 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 si. Okay. Scarola. Si. See, okay, this is escarole now. Going cooked escarole. Going on top of the uh, pizza dough. Look at how healthy this is. See, si. solo escarole, solo scarola. See, si. and now she's going to fold it over like making a pizza rustica, or a calzone, we would call this at home. See? Va bene. And now that's going in the oven. Okay. Patate? Cipolle. Cipolle, okay. Cipolle, cipolle, cipolle. All right, now we're going to do onion. And the onions are cooked in some olive oil. La forchetta. La forchetta. Solo cipolle. Si. Si. Another healthy pizza. E basta? Si. Un po' di olio. Basta? Si. Si. Numero tre. Here we have thin sliced potatoes with a little bit of oregano, some pepperoncino, 
and olio di oliva. Si, 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 si. She said, this is better to, be, to do with your hands. Okay. Si, 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 si. Si, 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 metta così. E non si mette un po' di formaggio sopra, no? No, no. Formaggio è già. Thin, thin bene. slice. Bene, bene. Ok, basta così. There's the potato. And now, a rucola. Con formaggio? Eh, con la rucola. La rucola, sì, sì, sì. A rucola e formaggio? Sì, e poi lui. Però la rucola ce la mettiamo dopo. Sì, 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 dopo quando cotto, sì. All right, we're going to put the rucola on the pizza just before it comes out of that oven or after it comes out of the oven, otherwise it would just burn because it's just too delicate um, to put it on now and put it in the oven. Solo formaggio? Dopo ci mettiamo la rucola. Sì, e dopo, sì, 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 a rucola. Allora, that's that one. This is a real assembly line cinque. here today. Cinque, cinque. Numero cinque. Ok. Questo è tono? Sì. E olive? Sì. sì. Ok, this is going to be tuna and olives. We have tuna, tono and olives. E cipolla. E cipolla. Sì, cipolla. Sì? Uh, there, okay, cipolle. Anche pomodori? No. no, no. And now the cooked onions go on. Mm. This is looking absolutely delicious. Okay. Un po' di olio, sì. Olio di oliva. Basta. Allora, numero 5. Questi, questo, pomodoro? Sì. Sì, pomodoro. Oh. No, questi. Questi. E origano. E origano. Okay, now we have another version of a tomato-based pizza. This one is going to have a little bit of oregano with it. E se no facciamo con l'acciughe, perché l'origano già c'è. Sì, 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 sì. Acciughe? Sì. Sì, okay. So we're going to put anchovy on this because we already have the oregano in there, so there are our anchovies. E basta così? Sì. Ok. Pomodoro. 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 No, no, no sempre, que quello. sempre quello. Oh sì. Allora. Pomodoro. Ok. La salsa è pomodorini, sì? sì. Tutto insieme. And now we put on whole to little tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. E questo è fior di latte? Sì, sì mozzarella. This, mozzarella, ma non è mozzarella di bufala. No no. no, no, no. Okay, this is fior di latte. This is a cow's milk cheese. I said this is not buffalo mozzarella, which comes from this area, by the way. Yes. Because if it were, this would have to be made from the milk of the water buffalo, which it is not. So this is fior di latte, or what is known as the flour of the milk. This is a cow's milk cheese. And actually, it's better for pizza because, first of all, it's not as expensive. And secondly, it doesn't melt as quickly as the buffalo mozzarella would melt, and then it would
would, all, it would just burn too quickly in the oven. Now, I think you can see from the number of pizzas that they made here this afternoon how healthy a food pizza can be. First of all, we did not start out with making a very thick crusted dough, this very thin. And then the toppings are very healthy. You're using tomatoes. You're using vegetables like escarole. You're using minimal amounts of cheese. You're not loading it up with uh, sausage-type uh, dried meats. Vegetables, cheese, a little tomato, onions, these are the things that go on top of pizza to make it healthy. So today, we've given you many variations of what you could do in your own kitchen. Okay. E basta? Si. Finito. All right, this is the last pizza. Last pizza to go into the oven. I'm just hoping there's enough room. Ah. Okay. The rolls that we made for the Feast of San Nicola, remember, that has the initials SN for San Nicola. Okay. Allora. <laughs> okay, this looks great. All of those pizzas and rolls in one oven. Now all we have to do is wait. See, and here we have the fior di latte mozzarella and the cherry tomatoes. All of this coming out of one oven. Qua. Anche questo è la stessa. Sì. Grazie a voi per tutto questo lavoro. Sì, va bene. Anche questa pizza in Italia. We want to show you how beautiful that looks inside because this was the one that was made with the scarola. Beautiful, like a pie. Look at that. Allora, molto buon. And until I see you nella cucina again, sono Mariana Esposito. Sono Assunta Borrelli. Sono Anna Lombardi. Ciao! Ciao.